Hi there, my name is Paul Halliday, and in this video, we're going to be creating this list view with Native Script. What we're going to do is get these three people on screen, and when we select a person, we'll have the index and the person inside of the array. Let's dive in and create this project. So at the moment, we have a blank Angular Native Script project with the action bar having a title of list view. Let's create ourselves a list inside of our constructor. So perhaps we'll have a list of people and we can create a class for this. So we'll say that it's a list of persons. Let's simply make a class named person. We can then add a constructor that contains some information such as an ID of type number, a name of type string and an age of type number. Inside of our constructor, we can then assign our people to contain things like an ID of zero, a name of Paul Halliday, and an age of something like 25. If we repeat this for each one of our persons inside of the people array, this then gives us an array that we can show on screen with a list view. So I'm going to add a list view to our template. If we do that underneath our action bar, we can add the list view component and we can assign the items attribute to be equal to people. And that's of course the property inside of our class. Inside of our list view, we can create a template so that we can show how we want the items to appear. Let's add an ng template with a stack layout inside. The stack layout can contain a label with information from the person. In this instance, I'm simply going to display the name of the person. So let's add a label. And to display the person's name as text, we have to bind the item to our template. So let's add let item to be item. And as a result, we can say item.name inside of our label. If we save our file and take a look at our application, we can see that we now have this list view with three items inside. We can select the item, but nothing happens when we do that because we haven't assigned an on tap event. So inside of our list view, let's add an item tap event that we can pass to a function that can be called anything, but we'll call it on item tap. We'll pass through the selected item arguments as an event. So if we go ahead and create our on item tab function, we should now be able to get the index of the person that was clicked. We can use a template literal to say console.log the following person was selected. And then of course, pass in the args.index. If we then take a look at our project and we select, for example, Paul Halliday, we can see that the following person was selected at index zero. The same goes for John and Sarah, each with having zero, one, and two. In this circumstance, we can work out who was selected by matching the index to our person's ID. So we can say that the selected person is our filtered array where the ID matches the current index. To work out who was actually selected, we can take our people array and simply look at only that index. So if we had a selected person, we may say something like this dot people, and then of course, pass in that args dot index. Let's change this now to be the following index was selected. And then we can say that the following person was then selected with the selected person dot name, because this is now allowing us to see into that selected index. If we select one of the people such as Paul, we can see that the following person was selected being myself and then a different index with a different person. So now we're able to determine which index was selected and also filter our data for that specific person. Our list view could do with being styled a little bit better. Let's add the class of list group to our list view and the class of list group item to our stack layout. And now you can see that we have more spacing inside of our list view. 
and our items can be selected with the appropriate index inside of our array. So that's how we might integrate a list view inside of a native script Angular application.